Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, displaying images on a J panel and a J button. Um, so I basically set it up because I'm sure you don't want to see me typing a bunch. I'm just going to thoroughly explain everything I've done, except for this. This is basically just, you know, we should probably use this anyway, just to let you know this lets your GUI program look like the system theme. So I highly recommend using this. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this is what it's going to be displaying. Um, so currently I have a J label on the right um, that is displaying a giant B. And on the left um, is a J button that's holding two images. One image, which is the which is a plus sign and it's blue. Um, and when you hover over it, it turns gray. Actually, these are two separate images. It's not just like, you know, changing, you're, you're not, I'm not repainting it. Um, cause that's just a little bit kind of annoying. So I just, I might as well just black and white it anyway. So anyway, I wanted to have it on the button display dynamically changing, um, images. I mean, I, I think it's super cool. I don't it's, it's just super amazing. So anyway, um, so I just have the basic GUI layout, you know, with J frames and, you know, adding panels and buttons, but let's get into the, the good, the good stuff. So right here, I have an image icon. An image icon is something that can be, um, as you can see with the J button down here, this doesn't have text in it. Instead, it is referencing the image icon above. Um, so an image icon can represent text in um, specific components, such as a J button or a J label. Um, it's a little bit different for J menu items, but that's not much of a, it's not, yeah, not too much of a difference. Um, also, uh, you can reassign a J button in multiple, uh, image multiple ways. First off, you can, uh, you can immediately assign it right here, or you can uh, do button 1.setIcon, so you can set the icon. And so what I did down here is add a mouse listener, and so if the mouse entered the um, J button, it would... Uh, show the plus hover image and if it exits it then it goes back to the plus and it automatically starts off at the plus so with the set icon you can dynamically um, change what the image looks like uh, which is neato um, also uh, there's multiple ways to uh, you know you can reassign image to an image icon without having to specify what the um, uh, what what the source is at the start. So down here, I created a buffered image and I put the gigantic B image um, and attached it to the buffered image. As you can see up here, um, it's just an image icon. There's nothing attached to it. And I also created a J label. Now I can do set image and I reference the uh, buffered image above. And I set that image uh, to the image icon. So now I can actually constantly reassign the uh, what the image icon is holding. So that I can also dynamically change. So if somebody could like choose from a list of uh, pictures to show on a J button, you can do that. You're not restricted to the one that you specified. Um, and also, uh, this is another uh, component that you can add an image icon to, which is a J label. As you can see over here, uh, you see the giant B. This is the J label, label, and this is the J button. And just below this, I just, you know, added the button on the left and then the panel on the right. I didn't do any of the... Um, J panel grids for that. Um, so basically, I mean, 
that's really much it. There's not a whole lot to displaying images. There are some other ways, but honestly, it's kind of a little bit more complex. I'm, I'm most likely going to go over that in the future, but for now, if you don't want to get into drawing like a bunch of stuff, I mean, it's super powerful. You can do so much things, so many things with it. You can scale stuff. You can, like, you know, you can do black and white stuff. You can basically do whatever with what you want with the image. Change it however you like. You know, like, rotate it. Uh, but it gets kind of complex and annoying, and it's kind of a pain to show people. But I will show it in the future. But for now, I like working, you know, the simplest way is working with image icons to display images on buttons and labels and other components. So I will uh, leave this in the uh, con uh, not the comment section. I will put this in the description, the source code, so you can you know just copy and paste this to, to see how it works. Of course, you have to change this you know the source, the you know plus .png and plus hover .png. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, the basics of displaying images, and you can really tinker around with this and have a, a fun time with it. Because I, honestly, I think it's pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, so if this helped you, uh, leave a like if you want. If you have any questions about the video um, or about, you know, icon images and the stuff you can, more stuff that you can do with them, leave in the comments uh, below, and I will answer them. Um, if you want to recommend future videos, um, which could be GUI or Terminal, uh, just also leave those in the comments. So, any thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.